what's up guys and welcome to my minecraft server this is a private server and uh, currently I'm exploring the uh, twilight forest and I found a maze in the twilight forest and it's got some amazing things in it um, I've been kinda leaving torches so that I know where I've been but some of them are natural like that that's been placed by the dungeon um, hello, weird looking slime. Look at all of them. I need like a flamethrower or something, huh? <clears throat> Ooh. This is apparently for like replenishing your torch supply I guess whoa hello slime ball spitter so yeah it's got some pretty cool enemies here oh. ah just kinda you around corners and shit. Although with the frickin' slimes I can hear them going squish, 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 squish. Doesn't sound decent. What the hell's up here? Whoa. <laughs> Shortcut. <laughs> oh, okay. That's kind of where I started. Okay, so I found a maze map focus, and I was able to ma make myself a maze map with that, which is kind of cool. It's like a map of this underground here, in the standard Minecraft map style. Hello, little bat. Oh, these ones are cool. Look, they grab onto you and take you places. <laughs> Oh, I guess this is the way in. Yeah, this is how I came in. Look, look, there's a deer up here. Hello. <laughs> That's what you get. So yeah, the Twilight Forest is uh pretty cool. I definitely like it a lot. But let me show you some of the uh, the things that people on my server have been building. Uh, right now we've been primarily using Mistcraft linking books to get around and we just modify them to be interlinking and following. Uh, so this one that I carry always on me takes me to a place I designed called The Room and all it is is a room. <laughs> and in it has a bunch of Mistcraft books on pedestals. So this is the link modifier, and you throw a book in it, and you can change it to be interlinking and following, or disarm people before they go in, which like completely empties their inventory, stuff like that. Anyhow, this is the portal to my control center, but we'll just go to the front door of my world called Zero. The world is a complete void. Um, <laughs> other than what I've built in it so far. Over there, I've got a tree farm, my crops, a gigantic lava tank. It should be pretty close to filling, <laughs> to full. I've got a uh, forestry arboretum and logger here filled with rubber trees and we'll get into that a little bit later <laughs> sorry so in the front door here's some uh, like how you actually get to those <laughs> I've got a charge pad up front for charging your armor unfortunately my gravity armor kinda 
it's a bit too slow for. I'm not exactly sure how to upgrade it just yet. It looks like it takes some uh, modular force field upgrades, but I'm not real sure. <clears throat> so this is my machine shop, well, auto machine shop. Items enter from over here. You can see I'm actually quarrying right now, so I do have items coming in. This is my Greg Tech Blast Furnace. Oh, this is my Greg Tech Crash Furnace. And we're back. Thank you, Greg Tech. All right. So this is the Greg Tech Black F Blast Furnace. Blast it. Um, it makes things such as aluminum. <laughs> you can kind of use these blocks in the pattern you want to achieve the temperature capacity that you need to smelt certain materials. Uh, tungsten, I believe, required 2700, so I upgraded mine to 2710. And there you go. Um, <laughs> kind of looks like some kind of weird elephant. <laughs> um, in a row, we've got the electrolyzer. Um, we've got two centrifuges. One has tape making. It's just kind of for experiments. Right now, I'm using it for rotten flesh. Um, and this one I use for uranium. And here, I'll steal some cells over here and fucking put them here. Boom. Make some uranium. Uh, the uranium goes into my auto reactor, which I'll show you later. For now, this goes over here, and uh, scrap, and only scrap, goes into the matter fabricator, which is not a mass fabricator, you might notice. And that automatically makes um, UU matter, and that's cool too. Um, the entire thing's controllable. Uh, there's a uh, wireless receiver underneath there, as well as one on the uh, catch-all chest here with the autarkic OR gate. I've got quad furnaces. Um, all with a few upgrades each. You can see them processing things. They get fed from the top. Um, these are insertion pipes for overflowing, kind of like hoppers, but better. <laughs> uh, and then autarkic gates pumping out via electric engines. So the gates just turn the electric engines on as needed. Cool. Got compressor. Whoa. Let's empty that in case there's something waiting to be done. Yes, uh, there was. What just got made? Something. <laughs> and an extractor and the macerator. And that one's fully overclocked. And has a kind of crazy loading system. Uh, this is just supplemental loading, it's not really needed for anything. Here I've got my row of barrels. Lot of redstone. Uh, my copper's getting back up there. Um, and I have a lapis project that requires something like 160,000 lapis, so we're gonna need more of that. <laughs> Quite a few diamonds, too. Nice. This is generally where I do most of my crafting, so I've just got like everything here. I have an easy crafting mod installed, so it just kind of reads your inventory for whatever you happen to have. Like I'll grab some iron and uh, check it. Now I can make iron armor, or iron bars, or minecarts, or whatever the fuck you can make with iron. Cool. Underneath that I, need, I have a project table because, you know, sometimes the easy crafting table is a piece of crap. So this thing is not a piece of crap, it's really cool. And then I've got a series of crystal chests, which just store my miscellanea, such as like dyes and mushrooms and so forth, and rubies and sapphires, wool, weird stuff. Oh, I hear I hear a cicada. Ooh, that's from G Bong. I'm gonna have to find it. Oh, there's two of them. I think there's two of them. <laughs> and then I've got a barrel row of just fucking kind of like colorful things. <laughs> I don't even I don't even use these really. I mean I guess I, my rubies are here, but I haven't run out of the ones over there, so whatever. Uh, this is my primary battery storage. 
uh, an IDSU. I've currently built two of these, but I'm only using one of them. Let's put my gravity chest plate in and see how fast it charges here. Ah, uh, yes. Much nicer. Very good. So this is a Greg Tech thing that took quite a bit to build. Um, the output of it is hooked up to four high volt transformers. And that way I have 2048 EU out in 512 EU packets. Pretty spiffy. The input comes from two sources currently. Um, up there would be the nuclear source. Down here would be these geothermal array right here. They're fed from the lava pump uh, outside that you saw. Um, all of that's wirelessly controlled, automatically controlled. I'll explain that in a few. <laughs> so that's the power system. Uh, back here we've got our uh, Buildcraft engine array, which basically um, I can use toggles, and I can wirelessly toggle them as well. Here, let me grab my wireless remote control. <laughs> I'm kind of failing here. Okay, electric toggle six. So this is going to toggle engine number six, just each time I send a pulse to it. And the way that works is this receiver pulses the latch, which uh, turns it on and off, just like if you had clicked the lever. And then this is just a transmitter so that I can view the status of it wirelessly as well. Well, you can see that with the wireless sniffer. <laughs> kind of crazy. Here's mine. So you can see four of my engines are turned on. These four. Pretty cool. These are my ender chest vacuum pumps, as I call them. I don't really know what makes them a vacuum pump, but whatever. Each one of them has, I believe, ten ender, pi uh, ender pumps on them. Or redstone pumps, I'm sorry. Um pumping out of the same ender chest. Like you can kind of hear like three sound effect played. That is also my ender bag that I'm carrying here. So when I put things in it. Those pumps suck those things out and into these ch into this chest piping network from Buildcraft. And that all goes into this tesseract right here. More on that in a minute. So that's how I can just manually feed items in. And I could use electric engines, but I don't like to just passively drain power. And I also just kind of like the uh, effect of items being singular as they're coming through the pipes. It looks really cool. <laughs> so this is my laser assembly room, and I just manually turn it on when I want to use it. Uh, I really want to expand it with more lasers, but this is what makes things like autarkic gates. Pretty cool. See, Jibong's on. We got a robot armor assembly table, but currently that's kind of a buggy mod. I'm hoping we'll get fixed soon. Oh, there's a cicada again. Let's figure out where that's at. <laughs> I suspect it's outside and under my house somewhere. Oh, I don't see it. Um, it should be somewhere around here. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Okay, so let's take a look at the control room real quick. That's through the portal, as I haven't really made a great way to get there yet. <laughs> so here again, we have the four electric engines and push button toggles for them and lights to represent their status cool uh, a lot of this display is kind of obsolete from before but this indicates every time an item is being um, pumped out of one of the furnaces and the other three machines as well there's the cicada uh, this displays my current energy amount over here is the items you saw coming in. Like if I put something into my ender bag, it will come in through here. Let's put some diamonds in. Give it a few seconds as it has to pass through the uh, 
vacuum pump system before it actually arrives here, and there we go. <laughs> um, all of this is basically like the control rooms just to see the status of my uh, entire system, so all of this here is just to see what's going on. However, these both go to the recyclers, so it gives me quite a bit of flexibility of all the different things I want to be recycled, or not. <laughs> I can easily configure it here rather than going somewhere else. Um, down here is just visual though, like it separates out things like the diamonds and the scrap and the zycorium down different lanes so you can visually see them. But they all end up in the same place in the end. <laughs> okay. Over here you just have two simple controls, you can turn the mass fabricator on or off, and that basically just turns on or off the energy flow to it, so even if you turn it off it'll still be making UU matter for quite a while with its internal battery, it just won't be recharging it. Uh, the Arboretum is the, um, the rubber tree farm that you saw over there, although it can be filled with any type of tree I believe. Um, this does not work anymore, <laughs> that's obsolete. Uh, this is the nuclear array master control, and it's also currently linked to, I mean, they're just linked together like that, <laughs> to the redstone pumps down there on the lava tank leading into the geothermals. So currently, it's configured. When my power gets down to 900 million, it will turn on. It will begin emitting redstone signal. When it gets up to 990 million, it will turn the redstone signal off again. So currently we're at 918 and falling. Once it gets down to 900, it'll turn on. That will turn on the redstone engines for the lava pump to the geothermals. That'll begin making electricity, but it will also turn on my quad reactors. I've kind of limited access to this room to responsible users by making it wireless access. <laughs> So, on the left are the only working reactors, on the right are currently works in progress, basically. They're going to become things like breeder reactors and uh, plutonium reactor, etc. These are all the exact same, right here. They all take single uranium cells, 19 of them. <laughs> you can see, most of them are pretty empty. I probably will be pretty soon, as I'm running... Uh, four quarries at the moment. <laughs> so, uh, uranium cells enter here, go down and around the loop, get fed into the reactors, yada yada yada. Um, around back, we have the wireless receivers, um, which basically turn on the reactors when that range trigger is triggered and burn up my uranium. Woohoo! This is the old reactor room, <laughs> a lot smaller, and not not explosion proof as it's only one layer. <laughs> not good. It used to have some good displays though, which I should strip out and use elsewhere. Um, this is the zombie to methane thing I was talking about earlier. If I feed zombie meat into my system, it becomes methane gas, and the methane gas goes into this liquid transposer, or the, uh, the methane cells go into this and they get inserted into this uh, tank column here as a methane, liquid methane I guess. Uh, here's basically my build craft driven crafting center has all uh, the thermal expansion machines, I can see this one's got some molten ender still in it um, induction smelters and rolling machines and so forth anyhow pretty standard stuff <coughs> So far, that's about all I've built. Um, over here, I do have plan to do some magic stuff. I've got some. I've got my Thomcraft going on. I'm having a bit of a difficulty with it in the Nether as I don't have any nodes whatsoever for some reason. So that's wonderful. Uh, this is going to be basically like guest rooms and bedrooms, but currently not built. <laughs> wonderful. Oh, uh, I suppose there is high tech. Like up here, when we went to the fusion or the nuclear reactor, uh, I've built an extra room here for building in, and I built the room here for the fusion reactor to be built in. And that's a project that I've got going on pretty soon here, hopefully.
put that there to annoy me. Woohoo! <laughs> Where was that cicada? I hear it. There it is. Look at it. Ah. All right. We're going to have to return that to its owner safe and sound. So let's go do that. We're going to go check out Jibong Industries. Whoa. Alright. <clears throat> so this is a tower that Jibong has built. It's a uh, floor to ceiling. We'll fly up to make sure it's all loaded before we go exploring around. <clears throat> Jibong's office is right there on the 13th floor in the O of Jibong. <laughs> and you have a nice glass observation deck. Um, like my house, I know that it's uh, largely a work in progress still. So let's go check it out. Oh, come on. Let me hit. <laughs> okay, so we'll start downstairs. <laughs> no, wait. No. That's not downstairs, is it? Let's start downstairs. <laughs> Wait, is this downstairs? No, let's start downstairs. All right. What the hell? Who doesn't put up torches? <laughs> okay. So, yeah, work in progress. How did I get down here? There we go. Yeah, not a lot here. Very dark. <laughs> room for the future, I'm sure. But I can see that he's run power cable down there, so that's strange. Alright. This is an automatic um, solar panel maker. <laughs> like, you feed the materials, like uh, if you put copper in this ender chest and copper cables over there, or whatever, uh, it all basically makes them. And over here, they get turned into their compact versions as we're running the compact solars mod. Solar panel, transformer, low volt. And then medium. And I don't know why this one's not configured. Okay. But it's supposed to be high volt. Maybe he hasn't made one yet. <laughs> I hear zombies. And upstairs. So this is, I guess, floor zero or up, oh, level one, ground level. That's right, we're in the United States. <laughs> Level 2, fast travel. So here he set up some portals to his floors. Compressors, mass fabricators, furnaces, tower control. We'll take a look at that in a second. <laughs> Charge pad, bees, cannon, and H2O. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Jibong's office, and then there's still more over here, as obviously... Uh, there's not going to be enough room for like 20 portals here. <laughs> so, uh, I guess we'll go up the tower. Level 4, wireless build craft power. This is basically the equivalent of uh, what I was showing you with my uh, 6 engines or, or whatnot. 12 engines. <laughs> he has uh, controlled outputs and so forth. Very cool. Level 5, the ender pumps. Now, I am going to take credit here for the original idea of the ender pumps, but isn't that awesome? Holy shit. That's cool looking. And that that's why that's why ender pumps. <laughs> Very cool. Fuel and petrol gens. So here he's got some uh, fuel refined from oil, obviously. I don't see any like inputs, outputs, so. Hmm. I guess 
that's up up on the next level. <laughs> Interesting, if true. But I also don't see a portal back down to fast travel. You lazy bastard. Level. F I could have sworn I was just on level like five. Isn't that? Let's go down, back down to fast travel. Yeah. That was a fast way down to fast travel. No, I guess, I guess, yeah, okay. I thought I was on level 4, but I was on level 14. <laughs> and then level 15 is the oil and refineries. So here we go, big oil tank. Ooh, and he does have refineries. Oh, but that's odd. Half set up, I guess. Okay. Whee! That's fun, though. Uh, geothermals, yes. Let's take a look at those. We've got his lava tank here, and uh, he's just installed geothermal racks coming out of uh, the valves. I think it's a really nice situation. He must be full on energy, I'm guessing because these are not generating electricity. <laughs> We've got 30, 5, 10, 15, and another 15. Nice. And magma crucibles. Interesting. I guess to turn obsidian into lava, which is very strange. Oh, I didn't even check if there was a portal there to fast travel. But there probably wasn't, huh? <laughs> Observation or T.O. Top of the world. That's, that's what that must be. <laughs> well, I'm just going to take the ladder to the top of the world. Assuming it's the same thing. <laughs> Oh, it's raining. Nice solar array here. Single celled. Let's just go down a floor. 18. Nothing. Seventeen. Battery arrays. Oh yes, okay. This is pretty cool. I think. So he's got counters on the ins and outs, which is pretty nice. But I think they're going to kind of cap out the capability he's doing here anyways. So he's got three arrays of six MFSUs. These two are hooked up directly in a daisy chain. And then back here he's got backup power, which he can toggle on wirelessly I believe oh yes and that will provide an extra 60 million EU really quickly <laughs> like since they each have their own channel the power comes in really fast oh and a complimentary charge pad very nice I like how it's got lights but it still needs a torch <laughs> Geothermals, we've already seen that. Whoops. I'm not doing this in an orderly fashion. Oil tanks and refineries. Oh, and I know what's next then, huh? Fuel tanks and petrogens. Gbong's office. Yeah, not much here yet. We can see that this is the O. <laughs> And I don't believe I'm allowed access here. But he's, you can see he's got a quad charging pad there. So if you stand in the center of that, you get four charge pads all at once. Damn it, let me in. Yeah, it's, it's no hope. No hope. Okay. It seems like this maybe should be where the cicada should go. I'm thinking. Yes.
Perfect. <laughs> Enjoy charging now, dick. <laughs> All right, moving on. We've got master control. Oh, oh, we got we got master control here. Yes. <laughs> Look at all this. Got electric engine controls with the totals added up on them. <laughs> I keep looking back to see him yet. <laughs> so he's got 10 of them turned on, so he's outputting 140 megajoules. And he's got complete displays of primary, secondary, and emergency. Oil and fuel. <laughs> Strafe. Oh, oh, he's looking at that. What is this? Ender chest electrics. Ender chest redstones. <laughs> cool. H2O incoming from rain tower. Very cool. All right. Oh, he has. He's maxed out on water. Oh, okay. So the the pipe's probably just full. <laughs> Recycler loading and macerator loading. Very cool. Nice lights. Level eleven empty. Level ten empty. Level 9, macerators and furnaces. It's a big array of macerators. Oh, there's stuff coming in. Huh? Oh, coming out. Der. <laughs> and the furnaces. Oh, an induction furnace, I see. And then these are just regular electrics with overclocks. Ha! <laughs> he just has his electric on like like on. It's on. I'm not using gates. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Whoa. Temp template box. Ha 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 for the pipes. <laughs> that must be what that is. I feel like this kind of needs guardrails, but at the same time, I like using the center for fast travel. Recyclers and mass fabricators. Aha, uh -huh, hello, recyclers. Where's the mass fabricators? Um... Maybe move that to his vault or something. No, that doesn't make sense. But whatever. Compressor and extractor. One floor for two machines. <laughs> okay. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I could see how you could need more of those, though, particularly as machines need uh, multiples in them. They can get clogged. And so dedicated machines are useful if you know what I'm talking about. Otherwise, ignore me. Auto canning. Oh, okay, so this is really cool. I don't know what the water's for. Probably nothing. <laughs> but, uh, so this entire machine takes various foodstuffs out of this chest, as well as empty tin cans. And it feeds it into the canning machine and it feeds the empty cans into the canning machine like where are they oh there they are hello empty cans and then the canning machine creates the food that my gravity or my quantum suit helmet basically feeds me automatically. <laughs> and there it is. 
grade A food stuff. And this triple blue coated ender chest is like uh, most people on the server, basically they carry around a bag, but I basically just keep one of these triple blue coated chests back at my house. So he's basically the food provider for all of us. And these are centrifuges, I guess, for bees or something. <laughs> but yeah, very cool auto food production system. Just put food in, put cans in, and receive canned food out. <laughs> Ender pumps, we've seen. I think we might have seen it all now. Yep. Well, it's on floor three. Empty. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> Alright, what up guys? I'm back. So I figured out a way to go where I needed to go. Blackwater's new house. <laughs> I asked Jabong for help. Da da da. Anyway, I don't think he's found the present I left him yet. So that's good. Anyhow, welcome to Blackwater's house. This guy, definitely the winner of our server. I don't know what's going on with the clock up here. It's very strange. Anyhow, so he initially just started playing a few weeks ago on our server and Minecraft in general. And he found this volcano here and was like, I want to live by a volcano and so so it is he lives by a volcano he started off very small just a little house in the mountainside and it's growing now I'm gonna try and give you <laughs> a tour of Blackwater's headquarters if I can we've got all his item storage up here very stylish way I'm like what is RX and DX and GX sounds kinda like drugs and LX it's Psychorium! Ha ha ha! Yes. And everyone loves Kung Fu fighting, so... Yeah. Anyhow, I'm gonna try and show you all of the places in his house, but I honestly don't know how to get to all of them. So... Yeah. This appears to be a new addition he's got going on here. I don't know what he's doing, but... Here he actually is! Ha <laughs> Right got a tank full of lava. I believe he is primarily lava powered. We've got mass fabricator here, which appears to be a manual system. We've got an I don't know what. <laughs> Whoa! What is it? An implosion compressor. Okay. Wow. I've never built one of those, but it's apparently a Greg Tech machine. This is the Greg Tech logo. That's pretty cool. Pretty very cool. Ha ha ha. Back here looks like just a access closet. <laughs> here we've got the charge pad that earlier today apparently shocked him to death and blew up and, and or blew up and his little control room as well. Quarry power and uh and whatnot. I just love how he's completely decorated with red lights too, like there's, I mean occasionally there's a torch, like you can find one, like you know, this is actually looks like it's stylistically chosen, like, whoa I just heard an enderman, oh that was Jibong, he's an enderman, <laughs> but yeah, very cool. Up here it looks like we've got mostly empty storage, however, he also has a rack of electric engines. His unfortunately are not overclocked yet, whereas both mine and Jibong's are fully overclocked. But I'm sure he'll get there. And you can see the lava room we were just in. Very stylistically cool, I think. Much better than either of us. <laughs> And we'll go downstairs. We've got some water and what he's called the fault. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> Whoops. Random shit. Get all that random. This is all auto fed. I don't know how to get 
into the back if there is a way to get into the where like you would configure this or downstairs perhaps I'm not real sure but it is all auto sorted and fed into these chests so that's cool very cool like, yeah you can see stuff down there uh, anyhow let's go back whoa pink okay <laughs> catches the eye ooh I have never been in here the interesting <laughs> it's just to get under the cable <laughs> that's funny <laughs> yes apparently that's how you get around down here okay so I know I'm missing a few whoa what is down here okay aha Got an enchanting room. Very nice. Why don't I use it real quick? See if it's level 30. It is. Well done. Fire aspect 2. That sucks. Oh well. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. It doesn't suck. I was just hoping for something like unbreaking. I could use that right now. Mass fabricator, main power. All right. It seems like maybe he's got some display issues going, going awry. Display panel issues. Um, we'll go over here. We can see a little B working area. Very nice. Whoa. I don't have permission to see any of that. Down here, we can see he's got a uh, magic working area. He's uh, grown his own silver wood tree. This is not a natural one. Uh, from what I understand, he got pretty lucky on a, a sapling on one of them. So, well done. <laughs> Here we have a Wrath Forge with a hungry chest out front of it. So, apparently, if you throw things in the top of this, I don't know if I have anything smeltable. I guess not. I don't know if slime balls are smeltable. Probably not, huh? Then this thing will smelt them and spit it out the. Oh, it did smelt to something. Sticky resin, alright, cool. So it'll smelt it and spit it out the front into the chest and apparently you have like a chance of also getting um, blaze rods or something and very nice design on that too we've got some thumb craft going on some wa uh, infinite water <laughs> wasn't apparent at first nice wands and a crafting table in the ground very nice little Slitted windows. <laughs> and again, with very nice lighting as well. Up here, we've got his uh, bedroom. And his personal safe of goodies. And the, uh... Hmm. Interesting. And I think I'll conclude the tour of our server here. There is uh, a lot more here, and other players as well. Not a lot, but, I mean, yeah. But I'd say that's about what's currently going on here. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.